Welcome to another week of Heights Hoopla, everybody. I'm Russell Sangster, and once again, I'll be joined by head coaches Gina Castelli and Nate Champion as we look at the past week of basketball for the Finns and talk about this upcoming Saturday as they open conference play at New Haven in a doubleheader matchup. Now, let's hear from the coaches. Coach Castelli, thank you for joining me once again. Thank you. Uh, I want to start by saying congratulations on uh, the wins this yeah. past week. Um, what were some things you saw from your girls uh, that helped you guys get back on the right track? I think the biggest thing we've been concentrating on is our defense. You know, I, I think that was the most important thing that, that we improve on right now. And um, I, I've, I've seen better, you know, performances uh, throughout both those games. So if fans noticed the past two games that you guys won, you changed the starting lineup, uh, entering Emma Brinker and Gabby Badway. What do they bring to the table uh, for your team? I think they bring a defensive presence that we really needed. You know, it, it, it was more about that than anything else. You know, again, I thought that we weren't getting stops when we needed to. We needed to have better starts, uh, especially on the defensive end. And I think they've done a really good job of uh, – of, um, of creating a, a great defensive presence for us. And you have two tough opponents coming up in St. Rose and New Haven to start off the year. So what do you expect your team to do going into those games? Well, I think everybody in the, in the NE10 knows, you know, how difficult it is to, to win in this league. And, you know, every, every conference game is important. So, um, you know, I, I, I know everybody's going to be up for it, whether it's us, New Haven, St. Rose. We just, uh, we just have to make sure we can control the things that we can control. And one last question. Um, Cam has been coming off the bench, and she's been doing a great job. What can you say about her coming from an ACL injury this past season? Yeah, great question. I mean, she's just um, doing great. You know, I'm just so happy for her. She had a really good game against Queens, and, you know, it's nice to see that her get her shot back. You know, I think it's a, a lot goes into um, recovering from a, an injury like that. It's not just physically, it's mentally, and it's your confidence. And, you know, it just takes a little time. And, you know, it's just been nice to see that she's starting to, to – we're starting to see the old cam again, which is great. Thank you for joining me, Coach, and good luck this upcoming week. Thanks, Russ. And now I'm joined by the head coach of the men's basketball team, Nate Champion. Coach, you had a couple of tough losses last week uh, against quality opponents, uh, games that could have gone either way. What does your team need to do in order to close those games out? I think we just have to execute down the stretch and uh, really come together as a team defensively in crucial moments. Um, I think we're breaking down in certain areas, and that's something that we can uh, definitely change with some practice. So we'll be doing that a lot this week. Your team's nowhere near what they're going to look like at the end of the season. You still have players on the bench such as uh, O'Shea Gary and Suleiman Gay that are both injured. Uh, what do you think they can add to the team when they come back? Um, you know, O'Shea is definitely a more experienced guard. This is his fifth year here at LeMoyne, and uh, he's a, a guy that can provide leadership, and he's also a bigger guard and adds some more athleticism and size, um, you know, to our backcourt. So that obviously helps us. And then with Suleiman, I mean, he's a big, long, athletic uh, guy that can help us on the defensive end and on the rebounding side of things. So both guys, you know, just add something to the team that we don't have right now. And, um, you know, it's some – Something we're really looking forward to getting those guys back. And on Saturday, you open up the conference play against New Haven. Uh, what do you need your team to do in order to gain some momentum going forward in the season? I mean, New Haven's a quality opponent, one of the top in the Northeast 10. And um, you know, for us, it's just going on the road again and, and trying to get a win on their home court. It's not going to be easy. We have to do things like executing down the stretch and uh, you know, just being locked into our game plan and uh, you know, making plays that we know that we can make to earn a victory. And last question, Thanksgiving is coming up. And uh, what do you need to have on Thanksgiving in order to get through the day? I think we need – uh, me personally, I always like you know, some cheesy potatoes and you know, some turkey with some stuffing. So I'm looking forward to that meal. Classic. Thanks, Coach, and good luck. That brings another episode of High Tupla to a close. Be sure to tune in live Saturday on NE10 Now to watch the Finns open up conference play at New Haven. The women tip off at 1.30 and the men at 3.30. Then, next Tuesday before Thanksgiving, be sure to come out to Ted Grant Court to cheer on your fins as they take on the College of St. Rose. The women tip off at 5 and the men at 7. Thanks again for joining me, and happy Thanksgiving.